Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you how you can animate your cursor in Visual Studio Code. I'm making this video mainly because I made already a short about this and it went super viral. So I didn't want to leave you guys out who just watch long form videos instead of YouTube shorts. Okay, so once we're in Visual Studio Code, we can just quickly type some letters so we have a little bit of text to play with. And now, as you can see, our cursor just jumps around when we move it, like from line to line, it just teleports instantly. But let's add some animation to it. Let's go into settings by pressing command and comma or control and comma if you're on Windows and now type in cursor and jump to this cursor right here in the menu. And now you have all of the customization right at your fingers. So the main one you came for is the cursor smooth carrot animation and you want to turn this on. Once you hit control S to save it and you go back to your file, you can see that our cursor has these subtle animations between lines and between characters. And even if I type some text, you can see that it's a little bit smoother. Some people really hate this and others love it. So you just gotta try out which camp you're in. Another the thing that we can play with is our cursor style. The default one is this line. If we change it for example to the block, you can see that our cursor changes appearance. Play around with these and really find the one that suits you. I really like the line thin one for example. Another thing that you can change is the cursor blinking animation. As you can see, our cursor just blinks now. But if we change it to my favorite one, which is face, it just kind of fades in and fades out all of the time. A cool one, if you're showing someone your code, you can go to expand and and now your cursor will do this kind of collapse and expand animation. Another thing that I get a lot of comments on is my appearance in Visual Studio Code, like my overall theme and how this all looks like. And I do this with two simple extensions. So first and foremost, I use the Tokyo Night theme and I use the Tokyo Night Storm over here. Pretty much the most important part of my whole design is this transparency effect. You can see my wallpaper through it and also some of the files over here. So in order to do this, I use this extension right here, which is called Vibrant continued. I found that on most computers it just works right away but if it doesn't just simply hit F1 and type in reload vibrancy and this should fix your problem after restarting Visual Studio Code. So I hope this quick little video helps you out and let me know what extensions or settings you use in your Visual Studio Code.